All right, today we're making cheesy kale enchiladas, and the first thing you do is got to destem these kale leaves. And one thing we do different here is once we get done destemming them, we're gonna rinse them real nice with water one time, and then we're going to let them soak in some water with vinegar, which helps kind of make the kale a little bit more tender when you cook it. Now we're gonna prep our onions, we're gonna dice them finely, and then we're gonna smash some garlic and chop it up. Get some butter in the pan and get those onions cooked till they're translucent. Add the garlic, start warming it up, and then you add a half a can of red enchilada sauce and let that cook down a little bit. Put your kale in there. Now you're gonna add your cumin, your garlic powder, your black pepper, and your salt to taste. Don't forget the very muy rico hot sauce. Put a bunch, as much of that in there as you want. Add in the black beans, get them warm, and then remove that from the heat, and then you're gonna build your enchiladas. And here we used fresh mozzarella. You can use regular mozzarella like cheese sticks or something like that but i just like a a big large amount of cheese on the inside so we're gonna prep these up we did four of them we used the santa fe whole wheat tortillas you can get them from costco make sure baxter gets some now we're just gonna pour the enchilada sauce over the top of these get them ready to put in the oven Throw them in there on 375 for 20 minutes, take them out. We didn't have any shredded cheese, so I just topped them with sliced cheese. Worked just fine. We just used um, smoked cheddar and then some provolone, which is also smoky, so it tasted really good. Serve it up with some diced lettuce and some lime wedges and sour cream. So good.